我对瑟琳迪昂的采访在美国的拉斯维加斯进行。在过去的四年半中，瑟琳迪昂每周五场在这里举行演唱会。尽管演出的票价不菲，四千人的观众席却依然场场爆满，许多观众还是专程慕名而来的。在瑟琳的丈夫 Rene 的介绍下，我在演出前后进入后台，见到了这位流行乐坛的天后，并且有了一个有趣的发现。精彩的演出使我更多了一份好奇。一周无常的演出对于任何一位歌手都是体力与毅力的巨大挑战。到底是什么力量使他可以如此激情而不知疲倦的歌唱呢？ Well, Celine, thank you so much. I want to congratulate you, although thousands of people has done that, but just another day of very successful delivery of the top quality performance. Thank you so much. How did you do that? Four and a half years, the same stage, same program, hitting the、mm -hmm. same tone, same fashion, same passion, <laughs> Un unimaginable. I, I guess I take it one at a time. <laughs> We do one at a time, and I think I guess it, it, it's still. Impresses me that I still find the passion of doing it, because I don't think if there is, if the passion is not there, if the will is not there,、mm. if I don't like what I'm doing, then it's not worth it, and then you don't do it.、Mm. I I would not be able to make it. It would show. How about the fresh? How do how do you keep the freshness of、mm -hmm. of everything? For、yeah. example, the hearts will go on、so、like you、mm -hmm. have sung it. For how many times? Countless. I cannot count it, but I think there's something magical about show business.、Mm. Um, it, it's like, it's like love. It's like kissing someone you love.、Mm. I've been, you know, you kiss somebody you love thousands of times, millions of times, and every time, it's magic. There is night that,、mm. you, know, you're not, you're you're not not you know, you're not you're not top shape.、Yeah. You feel it. You are sick.、Mm. I've canceled shows. The hardest I mean, thing,、cool. the hardest thing, is not to do a show and feel a little sick or、mm -hmm. feel a little down.、Mm -hmm. The worst is when you cancel a show.、Mm -hmm. I always say, not always, but sometimes to the people, I say, you know, it's hard to do a show, but it's harder not to do the show、mm -hmm. because you cancel and you know everything behind that. People. You know, uh, uh, making sure they get the money, the traveling, the planes, the hotel, the restaurants.、Mm. They come to a hotel, they travel the world, they come here, the tickets to see a show, and then you come and the show's canceled. It, it's got to be pretty brutal. So it's also a sense of responsibility that's behind all this.、Right? A big sense of responsibility. Big,、yeah. That's a huge commitment. It is. Life. I think there's a lot of talented people who can do the singing, the recording. They're very, very talented. But without pretentious saying that, to commit yourself on stage every night, it's more than singing songs.、Yeah. You have to make sure you discipline yourself.、Mm -hmm. I don't feel like. I think I've been disciplined all my life. This is not something that people say, "Oh, you're so good." I don't know. This is、mm. natural for me.、Mm. I'm the baby of a big family of 14 children. This woman, full of energy and with a sense of self-discipline, was born in the state of Canada, the Quebec province. Her family, although not very wealthy, was full of joy and warmth. Before Celine, the family had 13 children. At five years old, she was sitting in the music hall of her parents' music club, singing the song of the family. The sisters and brothers knew that the dream of the little sister was to become a singer. 
You definitely uh, need sharing aware. among 14 children. I mean, you need to learn how to share when you, exactly, <laughs> when you are around a table, uh, when you're 16 people around mm -hmm. a table, uh, the true values, uh, dedication, love, affection, attention, all those things. And music kept all of us together. Music is very th therapeutic. Mm -hmm. There's different types of music from country to classical to rock to whatever. It, it, it's, 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 it's a way of expression. And it kept the family with these values all together. 十二岁那年 ，Selin 的一个哥哥将他录制的一首法语歌寄给当地著名的音乐经纪人 Rene Angry。几个星期之后，他被母亲带到了 Rene 的办公室，在那里 ，Rene 邀请 Selin 现场唱一首歌，而他却紧张的发不出声音。于是 ，Rene 拿过来一支大钢笔，说。来，就把它当做麦克风吧。一曲唱过之后，小司令惊讶地发现，眼前这位比他大很多的成年男人，竟然像孩子一样的哭了。When Rene heard you singing for the first time, he cried, right? First time he heard me sing, he cried.、Uh -huh. I was in his office with my mom, and we met with him, and、um, he, he didn't believe that the little tape that we sent him. A song that my mom wrote, and this is really you singing on the tape.、Mm. Can you sing a little bit for me? Just wanted to make sure. And I was very, I was 12, very intimidated. And you know, the big tie,、mm -hmm. the big suit, an office. I was in Montreal, the main city.、Mm -hmm. Never been to Montreal, you know. So I was like very impressed. <laughs> and、um, so I sang,、mm -hmm. just a cappella, no music, in front of him,、mm -hmm. and he started to tear. He started to cry. Wow. Yeah. 被 Selin 的歌声深深打动的 Rene 向他的母亲保证，五年之内会让这位小姑娘成为法语地区的大明星。他的决心使他毅然抵押了自己的房产为 Selin 出唱片。几年之后 ，Selin 就在加拿大、日本、欧洲的多个歌唱比赛中获奖，神奇的从一名少女明星变成了颇有名气的成熟歌手。当事业蒸蒸日上的时候，一场惊世骇俗的恋爱也悄悄拉开了序幕。他早已悄悄地走入了他的内心。情窦初开的少女不可救药地爱上了比自己大二十六岁的男人，根本无法掩饰那份炙热而真挚的情感。而面对他的爱，他却只能躲躲闪闪。两个人都在这场痛苦而隐秘的恋爱中备受折磨。Because well, worrying about this unconventional relationship, you actually、yeah. didn't put bring it to public for for quite a few years. Because of the age difference, Rene had had to, was married twice before.、Mm. He had three amazing children, but it was difficult. It was difficult with my own family. It was difficult with my own mother.、Mm -hmm. How did you convince her? My mother、mm -hmm. loved Rene. Rene is not hard to love.、Mm -hmm. He's an extremely smart man, a big heart. Super hypersensitive. He's taking care of everybody all the time. He's a lovable person. But my mother did not want this man, with this age difference, with two marriage, with three children. The Prince of Charm for my daughter is not a married man twice with such a big gap of age. This is just you know you are young, Celine. You love him because he wants the best. For you, he he does the best for you. We all love him, but this is not a man that you should marry. So what was my mother、answer? wanted to kill him? <laughs> wanted to kill And him. And this is not a joke. She she loved him to kill him. Wow. It was very difficult.、Mm -hmm. And、um, we so, cried a lot till the day that I said, "Mom, I love him for real." I guess she saw. That I was mature enough, but she kind of saw that love is the most powerful thing in the world.、Mm -hmm. There's no age, there's no barriers, and she took my hand and she kind of trusted me. She hoped for the best, but I, I understand my mother for doing that. When learning, you know.、Uh, Rene was suffering cancer in the year 1999. I, I was his favorite singer,、mm. and I used to lean on him. He took my hand and he started to cry, and I could feel the strength of this man, the power. 
the, the Renee that I always knew, kind of gone. And he looked at me and he said, I need you. And also the process of uh, going through this uh, vitro fertilization yes, yes. for the conception of the child was also a challenge for you in life. After six years of trying together to have a child, I have decided to kind of make me understand that Celine, don't be greedy. I was talking to me. Mm -hmm. Chili 纪宪林回到母校济南一中参加校友聚会此时泳池里的菲尔普斯正备战北京奥运在水立方他一人夺得八枚金牌的传奇讲令世界为之惊叹二十一世纪的第一个十年杨澜访谈路走进这些历史风云人物以独特视角为您讲述一个人和他的时
he took my hand and he started to cry and I could feel the strength of this man the power the, the Renee that I always knew kind of gone and he looked at me and he said I need you and when he said that I knew he loved me I knew he loved my singing and he loved me as his wife but that he needed me I wasn't sure if I knew that this line was so powerful for me when he said that to me I need you I took charge how I don't know just by those words just by his pre by the strength and, and, and the power that I was not feeling anymore I became in charge 爱是让死神慈悲的力量，这句话用在斯林的故事里再合适不过了。在和病魔抢夺丈夫的战争中，他赢了，但他同时面对一个新的问题，那就是多次化疗的副作用降低了瑞内的生育能力。世界上最好的
there is no longer any barriers. We live together. I was very fortunate that my dad saw my wedding. He met my husband. He saw my son. He saw my show. If there are any limitations in the universe, and if there are limitations, what is outside the limitation? Yang Lan Fang Tan Lu, with you, Feng Xian, these, experienced the moment of moment of moment, with you, together, fly, to experience a generation of improvement. 体验着母亲的幸福感觉。两千零二年 ，Selin 带着他的新专辑《新的一天终于来临》出现在拉斯维加斯的舞台上。就像专辑的名字一样，付出的 Selin 在经历过与病魔的抗争、隐退、生子等种种人生体验后，一种全新的活力和激情再次爆发出来。那一首首以爱为主题的歌曲中，包含着他对爱的深切理解和对生命的一份感激之情。When it's hard for me, when I hear you breathe, I can't wait to fly. I feel that I'm alive, and so are you. Been singing so many songs of love from and the I won't very stop. beginning, and you won't stop. And, and you know, maybe some of the songs can be dedicated to the things that happened to your life at that period of time. Absolutely. Can you relate them? Like, can you raise a few you know, examples? Uh, love for me, like you say, is the most powerful thing. You can break barriers, you can lift mountains. But love is the most painful thing, mm -hmm. in different ways. Love happy like giving birth to a child, finding the man that you can be partners for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. um, different types of love, love of a mom and family and the fans. But also love hurts as, for example, um, I lost my dad three years ago. I loved my dad so dearly. It was very painful when he left. But it's very amazing because he lives with me every day. There is no longer any barriers. We live together. I was very fortunate that my dad saw my wedding. He met my husband. He saw my son. He saw my show. For every dream you make come true. Now here we come into the segment with very quick questions and answers okay. from from my audience. Okay. Okay. The first one: Do you want to have more children? I would love to have more children. Once the once the show here is over, the tour is over, I'm gonna hope and pray for more children. What has kept you so strong in front of all the uh, you know turbulences in life to go I through think, those tough moments? I think moments? I have to owe this to my parents, the way I grew up. A foundation. The base is the most important thing. My parents are, gave us our family good values. You know, the discipline and the will and the dream and this, the, the good values. You know, like the, uh, the discipline, but as well like uh, so much love, uh, compassion for the others, and um, being aware. You know, so we had good values in life as we were children. What if someday you stop singing? I have what my foundation. I have my life. You know, a lot of people think that I've, I, 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 it's like life for me is like a ladder. Yeah. You go one step at a time. You go up, 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 and that's what people think that I'm going up, but they don't know I've been coming down. That's why they don't know. I started right there. At the top of my gig, I started right there. My head in the cloud. 
looking down. She, you know, it, it was like just so beautiful. I was dreaming all the time. People were there at the bottom of that ladder to help me. I was feeling very strong. Every step of the way, I'm coming down. I'm grounded. I'm going to be 40 years old soon. And I've never felt that strong, so grounded. I know the best is yet to come. I am right here.在台湾中国了解到